you say how important this was? I mean, I know nobody likes to talk about the losses, right? Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, it's it's big to get back to the league. Oh, for right? sure, man. After these two losses, I had uh, nine months of some some weird times in my life where I had to figure out, you know, like what's what's next for me. So uh, to come back in my hand raised, yeah, feels good. And uh, Sergio, um, I believe that was the first time in your career that you suffered back to back losses. Yeah, um, ever. Did it feel any different did, entering this fight? Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, the, the the nine months that I had off, um, I was going through some dark times, and just kind of figuring out, you know, if this is for me or what, what I want to do. And I'm glad to, to realize, you know, this is where I belong, and this is what I want. I love to do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And a lot was made about the elevation. Obviously, Mexico City, pretty yeah. high up. How'd you feel out there? Uh, I don't feel the elevation ever. I think uh, I think for the lighter weight class, it's a little different. You know, we were in shape all the time, so. Uh, I really didn't feel a difference out there. Um, I tried to push the pace. I tried to do some cool stuff, and I felt good, felt normal. I fought yeah. the last time, too, five oh, rounds. So yeah, that's right. That, yeah. Definitely, that, definitely, <laughs> that definitely helps out, You got too. some experience, yeah. Yeah, yeah some experience. And, uh, you know, this is your first fight back at flyweight. Yep. Um, is this your home for sure? I believe so, man. I believe at 35, my body uh, doesn't make sense for me. You know, when I'm a flyweight, I feel really strict, like a martial artist, like a, a true professional athlete, where I have to take my diet serious. I have to take every extra measure to make sure that I'm on weight, but also that I'm in shape to fight. Um, just fly away pace, it's a different pace. Yeah, and did you have any concerns of, of dropping back down? Not not because of performance wise, yeah. but because of the situation at the flyweight yeah, division. Yeah, I, I put on some size, I think. My body looks a little bit bigger. Um, I tried to get bigger for 35. Um, actually was gonna fight at 35 again and got a rib injury, you know, it was like a blessing in disguise. Um, heard the flyweight division's coming back and I was like, yeah, man, that's where I belong. This is 124. <laughs> I mean, easy way cut, didn't have to do much. Yeah, and uh, also your flyweight division, uh, the champion Henry Cejudo, yep. he's, he's gonna be out for a while. We spoke to him yeah. uh, yesterday um, and he said, you know, recovery is taking a little longer than, than sure. he expected. Uh, should an interim belt be implemented? What, what are your thoughts on I that? I mean, if it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. I really don't care. I, I'm here to fight them all. And I already fought Cejudo. I beat Benavidez. You know, he's gonna get the next title shot. So, you know, whoever they want me to go against up next, I, I'm gonna fight them all. I'm, I've been here for six years now and I hope to have another six to ten years here if possible. Yeah. And uh, what's what, what's next for you? Do you have anything in mind? Would you like to get another fight in 2019? Um, possibility. You know, right now I think I need to take just a little bit breather. I went nine months of training. You know, I was training hard and this fight, you know, wasn't too bad. I still feel a little sore, but maybe right now the next plan is uh, some pasta tacos, mm. um, some tequila, <laughs> and uh, enjoying this W. Nice. Yeah. Congrats. You said Sergio there was an easy weight cut. But how was the preparation for coming back down to 125? Um, yeah, I always say easy weight cuts, you know, but it's, it's tough. It's, it's tough. Never yeah. easy it's tough. It's there's tough. There's weight cuts that go good and go uh, bad. There's like, never it's easy weight cut. Yeah. But um, like I said, when when I cut to 25, I feel like I have to do everything correct. My my training, my my weight cut, my how much I'm eating, how much I'm drinking water. So it makes me feel, you know, like a real mixed martial artist, you know, because cutting weight is part of the sport. You definitely definitely look bigger than when you fought here in yeah. 2017. How was the recovery after the after the weight cut after the weight? Um, you know, it was it was a little different actually. It took took a little bit more time than usual, but uh, once once I got the fluids back to normal and got the food back to normal, fell back, fell back. Yep, body How, felt good too. So I looked good. I thought. It looked good. Yeah, yeah. How difficult was the change of opponents or such such short notice? I mean, you're you're preparing the fight for Alex. Yeah. You get the chance against someone really tough as Tyson. How difficult was the change in opponents? Uh, I don't think it was too difficult. You know, I know that in this sport that. At any second, things can change, and someone's always ready, you know. So I'm, I had to prepare just how I prepare for anyone else. I could have a game plan. I could have all these ideas in my head. But when I go out there and fight, I'm going to fight the way my body fights and reacts. So um, no difference. And for you, how do you feel about the 125 division? I mean, you're back in the division. Yep. But also, we're getting three new signings on this on this card. Brandon Moreno coming back. Yeah, yeah. Oscar is getting signed. Yep. Tyson getting signed. It really does look like they're really pushing it. Oh, they're, I think they're pushing the, the division. I think it's getting bigger and bigger and deeper and deeper. Um, the flyweight division, I still think is fairly new. You know, we're only here for what, a couple? Seven years. Seven years. So yeah, it's, it's going to take some time to build. Um, and I think that's what's kind of happening. I think it's getting a lot more competitive. You know, we got some tough competitors in there. Uh, Davidson Figueroa, um, Cejudo, Benavidez, Formiga, Pantoja, Match Now, um, myself, you know, so it's, uh, it's getting deep. Getting deeper, some sharks in there. Yeah. Sergio, cortas con esta pelea una racha de dos derrotas. ¿Qué significó para ti esta esta victoria? What does it mean? How's that like? This fighting. What was the meaning of this? The meaning of this fight, mm -hmm. just to get back. It was a comeback fight. Um, it was a uh, like I said, the two losses, my first time ever in my career. It was it was scary. It was scary. I was coming out here fighting for my job. Regresas a México, pero ahora no contra un local. ¿Qué se siente para ti que tienes raíces latinas? 
Aprender aquí en México. What do you feel that you have these Latin roots? How do you feel fighting here? Oh, I feel great fighting here. You know, I'm, I'm coming from a Mexican heritage. My mom's Mexican. So to be back in Mexico City fighting a second time has been a blessing. The people here are amazing. Everyone's smiling. Everyone's hard workers. And I feel like I belong personally. Uh, what do you want after this fight? What do you want? I want a whole bunch of tacos, uh, a couple of shots of tequila, and uh, to go back home to my dog. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.